Hello, this is the best Mac Tutorials, and um, this is my second Java question from Answers.com. And um, it asks, let's see here, write a program to concatenate two strings in Java. That is very simple. Um, to do so, you'll have to uh, first, say, initialize two strings. So say you have a um, string, you have to have capital S, remember. Uh, one equals hello. And let's do um, Q1, because you can't start a variable number with variable name with a number. So you have to do like Q1 like that. So we declare a string Q1 equals hello, and string Q2 equals, and I'm going to put a space, goodbye. So that when they're concatenated, it'll be hello, space, goodbye, instead of hello, goodbye, smashed together. And then to concatenate them, you simply, I don't want to name it Q1, I want to name it Q2, and um, you simply smush them together. The concatenation operator, op operator is the plus sign. So say you have, you know, um, like a hello plus, oops, hello plus good or whatever. Um, that's concatenating those two strings. Obviously that's not a full statement, but because it's missing some other parts. So say you had um, string um, final equals q1 plus q2. Just like, oh, can't use final, that's a keyword. Uh, final string, like that. Then if we run it, it won't give any kind of output, but it'll run. There's no compile errors or anything. Now if we do system.out.println, and we do q1 plus concatenated with plus q2. And notice I didn't put a space inside here because that already has a space with it, so it would just be two spaces and that would be weird. Concatenated with q2 yields, I'm going to put my semicolon right there, yields, and then to put this in parentheses, of course, and delete one of these, and then plus final string, just like that. And so if we I'm going to put a space here. So if we run this, you'll notice hello concatenated with, oh, and then we have to put Q2 outside. There we go. Okay. And then plus sign there. Sorry, I had that inside of the string. So if we run that again, it'll say hello concatenated with goodbye yields, and we could put a space here for aesthetic purposes. Hello, concatenate with goodbye yields, hello, goodbye. And notice how it printed out this string, which is the result of this, of these two strings concatenated together into another string called final string. Um, you could also do a method call for this. Uh, well, you could do tons of things for this, but uh, you could do public static string concatenate strings, and then string A, string B just like that. And inside here put, um, you know, string, you could do this in one line of code, but I'm going to do it in two to make it more simple. String um, concatenated equals A plus B. Oops, not four, B, B. A plus B. And then return concatenated, just like that. And now if we do, there are one too many braces. Now if we do a um, method call statement, so we say uh, concatenate strings, um, hello, how are you? And I might as well put a space there for aesthetic purposes again. And we close it off with a semicolon, concatenate strings, Concatenate. Okay, they match up. And then if we run that, it'll return concatenated. But it's not doing anything because we don't have a variable assigned to it. So if we do string return equals what? Let's try this again. String return equals concatenate strings. Hello. How are you? 
Okay, for some reason he was doing something weird with italics there because it italicized these ones and we were typing. So we're just going to use this one and returned. And then we're going to do a system.out.println returned, just like that. And so if you run this now, we'll see it concatenates the two strings there. And then it concatenates hello and how are you when it sends them to this method and gets concatenated returned, assigns the value of return to what concatenated is, the value of it, which is a plus b, and a and b were passed to it by uh, this method call right here, and it called this method with the um, passing the strings hello and how are you for string a and string b respectively. Then we concatenated them together and return the concatenated string, set a string here equal to the return value of this method, and then printed it out. So that shows kind of two ways in which you can concatenate strings. Uh, they're both pretty much the same, but one's just using a method call. If you were concatenating a lot of strings throughout your code, it'd be really helpful to put a method call here because we can call this method as many times as we want with different strings each time. So instead of having to rewrite this, say, uh, this code, you know, whatever, every time you concatenate something, you just type one or two lines if you have a system.println statement. Two, one or two lines. You could even put the system.println statement in here and still work. Um, and then you just concatenated and then you would get rid of the string return up here because you wouldn't need it anymore. Space that right. Print line concatenated and it says it's unreachable because there's return statements above it. Get rid of the return statement if you didn't want to return it. Then get rid of the string footprint here. Then remove the um, variables pass to it here, and then put void here, oops, void, and then whenever it calls it, and we don't want any, we, we still want strings called actually, so we'll put hello and goodbye, or whatever, and then it'll pass and print it out within the methods. You don't even need that extra line of code if you were only printing it out. But if you were doing something else with it in line of code, you'd want to do it the way I showed you before, which was like... That. You'd want to do it that way. And this is the code I'm going to post in the uh, question. So, um, or in the answer to that question. So anyway, thank you for watching. And um, again, a little explanation behind this series. It's... Uh, I just go on to answers.com, grab Java questions, some of the more simple ones with code involved, um, and answer them and record them. Uh, see you next time.